creating a batch file first thing you want to do is you want to open up notepad go to start usually notepads in the start menu as you can see or if it's not there in Windows Vista and Windows 7 you type in notepad and hit enter and that will pull it up for XP you go over where it says run where you can type in a run and you type in notepad and then you would hit enter and that will bring up notepad once notepad is up you want to start off by typing do the at symbol uh, this is all caps echo type echo space off this is you gotta use this command uh, for each batch file that you create it's always uh, the command you gotta use so once you have typed in at echo space off the the symbol at you um the next part we're gonna get into is code to delete a file so basically once you have done that and you hit enter you wanna hit type in del for delete then you would type you I mean you would hit space and you would do quotation marks and you would put the file location this includes the the folder the drive everything up to that folder to where that file is you would put in these quotation marks don't forget to end your quotation marks with the ending quotation mark for example files in C drive for example desktop and we want to delete uh, the file on the desktop called test.txt so basically it's a test uh, text document that we want to delete that's just an example so basically this is the code to delete a certain file it can be a, a picture a uh, text document whatever and that would delete that that specific fo uh, file now basically the next part is, will delete a register key so once you have done uh, the file name and all that stuff the file location and the file that you want to delete you hit enter and you type in this is all caps reg space delete and that has all caps and then basically you hit space and you would type in your registry key and again it has to have the everything up to where that registry key is so if it's in the current user you do H key current user uh, and then you would do the software and Microsoft and all the way up to where that key is so basically the key is in current version run and this is the key that you want to delete so basically the key that you want to delete is after you on uh, everything up to where that key is you would do a space a space you do quotation marks and that key that you want to delete and then end quotation marks and basically that would delete that key and this is once you have done that you want to hit enter you want to type in this is not in caps echo space y and the up and down key straight not the not the forward slash but the backward slash instead of the backward slash you do um you would hit uh shift and this is basically the up and down key the the line basically yeah. so once you have done that that right there means if it comes up to prompt to to delete a register key which it normally does that will automatically answer yes to delete it instead of it coming up and showing that you uh, it will prompt yes or no do you want to delete it will automatically answer yes to delete in that register key so basically we're moving on that's how you delete a register key 
it's the code to delete a registry key uh, when running a batch file. So basically this next part is deleting a particular file but it's gonna search and find uh, the directory and everything and if it finds it it deletes it. That's basically this right here. So the next part is CLS is basically clear screen. So if you got a bunch of code, uh, some of the batch files that I created for Rogues uh, a few years ago, or it's been a little while ago, but I created uh, batch files for Rogues. And uh, after a while, I would put that clear screen in because it had so much code. I didn't want all that code, you know, coming up on the command prompt. So it would clear the screen and start over. So you type in CLS, that's clear screen. Alright, so the next part is gonna stop a process and end it. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna type in CD, which is change directory, space, forward slash. So you type CD, space, forward slash. Once you do that, you hit enter. You would type in TASKILL with a capital T. TASKILL. Once you type that, space, forward slash, F, space, forward slash, T, space, forward slash, I, M, and then once you do that, space, and the process, and this basically will stop that process, it will end it, so it's no longer running. And basically, uh, you need task skill. Uh, so basically, you have to download needed, which I will provide. It's also in the in the description. And you'll run it and just. And basically, it says put task skill on your desktop. So you want to hit browse, and you want to put it on your desktop, and you hit OK. See, it comes up on my desktop so you need that file right there in order for that command to work that task kill command to kill that process you need that task kill file and that will allow it to stop this process and basically after you done all your code at the end you type in exit uh, and then so be E X I T and then basically when you run it it run all this stuff all this code to delete these files and pro stop these processes and delete register keys but the thing is you want to stop the processes first so you would put all your processes at the at the beginning and then you would do your your files uh, locations and stuff like that and then you would do your registry keys and then basically you would do your exit command and now what you want to do is you want to save it as a batch file so you want to change change this to all files and you want to save it as run or let's save it as remove dot bat and you need to have that dot bat part and then you hit save so now it saved that here and now basically you double click it and it'll run that command in that you had uh, typed in there so basically once you open it up to edit it, it here's all your code and stuff so instead of say like you forgot to put something in there you basically would right click it and then you would hit edit so it would edit it uh, it would bring it up in notepad and you can go back and edit it 
uh, this is how you create a batch file I hope you learned something if you're new subscribe follow me on Twitter thanks for watching